Hello, this is uh, Shushankar Dhyal again and uh, I welcome you to my videos. Now please note that this video has been recorded in 720p resolution so please change your resolution of uh, YouTube player so that you can see the fonts clearly. Uh, I had told this in past but I think uh, it will not hurt if I repeat this. Now if you are using Emacs like me then you should set some key here to refer to the man page entry of that. Here I set F1 and then if I point my cursor to something, some word and if it has a manual entry then it will show me this manual entry. Let's see here. So if I press uh, uh, F1 here, oops, that was F2. So if I press F1 here, it shows me HDIO H uh, man page. That is one way of uh, seeing the man page very clearly. All the functions are listed here. Okay. Next. <coughs> In this uh, particular video, I'll tell you about functions basics. There are two different things. One is called uh, function prototype and second is definition. So this is how a function prototype looks. First you give a return type. A return type can be a primitive type or a derived type. For example structures or uh, integers or cars. So the primitive types which hold the value and then you can have structures or unions. Then again it can be <coughs> also of pointer type. Within the parenthesis you give comma separated list of arguments or rather I should say parameters parameters <coughs> only types are mandatory the actual name is not mandatory then you terminate it with semicolon while in the definition you have to give the comma separated list of uh, parameters along with their names uh, and types so let's say names no semicolon and then you got curly braces and then the body and then you return variable of your return type so whatever is your return type that kind of variable or value you have to return or you can even return an expression which will be automatically converted if that is convertible now here i have two functions both have return type void that means it will not return anything one is swap pointer and another is swap this guy receives two integer pointers and this guy receives plain integers. In the main function, okay, ideally I should put here. Okay, that was a mistake. <coughs> so in main function, I have two variables a and b, and then I call swap and then pass a and b. So what will happen is a copy of a and b will be made on stack frame, and that copy will be modified, will be passed to swap and then swap tries to change their value so what change will happen will happen to the copy therefore it will not be reflected here and then i send the addresses to swap pointer by using the ampersand notation which i have explained in my previous video and then i change the value at those addresses which is which i get by using star a so since i am changing the value at the addresses the, the change will be reflected back in the main function so in this case over here the change of swap is not getting reflected while in this case the change is getting reflected because we have used the address itself to notify to main that boss we are changing the values now this mechanism is also known as call by value while this mechanism is called call by address so depending on your requirement you have to use one now also note that here copies are made so stack uh, memory is used valuable stack memory will be used when you pass uh, objects in swap now as you know that swap is 8 mb if you pass an object which is larger than 8 mb the program is going to receive a segmentation fault now it is not very uh, extraordinary to have an a have a single derived type larger than 8 mb that is quite common uh, when you deal with big programs <coughs> the second part is about the prototypes these are two prototypes 
Now these prototypes are not mandatory if you put the function definition before they are called but they become mandatory if you place the function definition after they are called in the order. So here I have called it first and then I have written the body later. Therefore these are mandatory. This is why because when the compilation process happens if you do not have the prototype then at this point when the compiler will hit this line swap a comma b it will try to see what type it actually is what is swap it's it looks like a function to the uh, compiler but then compiler will see okay no swap is there i have not encountered any swap till now so what do i do so compiler will say a warning implicit declaration of function of swap type uh, having two integers it is receiving two integers but if you have a prototype here then compiler will know okay at least there is a, some declaration of swap so this is required for compilation step the body of the function is required for linking step say if for example i comment this out so you would say that it should not compile right so this program name is func1.c so if i just compile this so it compiles very much fine therefore the body is needed only at linking stage not at compilation stage now suppose this body is missing then what linker will do is linker will now complain that i cannot find a reference to swap a comma b but you have passed two pointers you are calling it in your main function so linker will complain in function main undefined reference to swap linker and loader return exit status one Therefore, bodies are mandatory for linking while prototypes or existence of function before they are called are mandatory for the compiler. And I have explained call by value and call by this. In this case, there will be no copy made. In this case, copy will be made. Let me write it down. Copy will be made on stack. Okay. Why this? Okay. So, um, <coughs> this is why it is not getting invented properly, I'll see that later. Okay. So now it compiles fine. So let's run it once. So you see, in first case, it is not getting reflected. In second case, the swapping getting reflected. So I guess uh, that's it. Now, one more question is, why would you want to use functions? Now, many times what happens is you want to do something repetitively many times for example swapping two variables is one of the cases when you want to exchange the value of two variables or for say for example you want to sort an array or for example you want to find a substring uh, in a string whether a substring exists in a substring or not so this type of uh, action which you want to do again and again you put that in a function and then you call that function at many places in your particular code for example, we always use printf printf. Now, if we do not have the function for printf, then we will have to write the entire code for printf again and again and again. So that gives you modularity. That is why functions are very, very important. Okay. So I think that uh, ends this uh, video uh, from me now here. I have nothing more to tell. Uh, you should read uh, more on this uh, and try to map your Emacs. I love this. I mean, you press F1 and you get the help. Quite easy, right? Who says Linux is not easy? Yeah. Thanks, thanks for watching the video. Please wait for my next video and I'll upload that soon. Thanks. Happy programming.